This is the part 2 video of Introduction to Immunology. In this video, we are going to see what is lymphoid system, what is immune response and about the scope of immunology. The lymphoid system. The lymphoid system is part of the circulatory system and the immune system. The lymphoid system is a system of capillaries, vessels, nodes and lymphoid organs. The lymphoid system transport a fluid called lymph from the tissue to the bloodstream. The lymphatic tissues of these organs filters and cleans the lymph of any debris, abnormal cells or pathogens. The Lymphoid system is also known as the lymphatic system. The lymphoid organs. The lymphoid organs can be classified into the central or primary lymphoid organs and the peripheral lymphoid organs. The central lymphoid organs. The central lymphoid organs are lymphoepithelial structures in which the precursor lymphocytes proliferate, develop and acquire immunological capability. The thymus and the bursa of fibricious in birds are the primary lymphoid organs being responsible for the cellular or humoral immune responses respectively. The equivalent of the avian bursa in mammals is the bone marrow. A lymphocyte that has been educated by the central lymphoid organs became a immunologically competent cell. Peripheral lymphoid organs after acquiring immunocompetence the lymphocytes migrate along blood and lymph stream accumulate in the peripheral lymphoid organs and following antigenic stimulus affect the appropriate immune response. The spleen, lymph nodes and mucosa associated lymphoid tissue that is malt are the major peripheral lymphoid organs. The lymphoid tissue in the gut, lungs, liver and bone marrow and lymphoid collections in the adventitious tissue of all organs also form part of the peripheral lymphoid system. Lymphoid cells Any of the cells that mediate the production of immunity and of lymphoid origin is called lymphoid cells. Lymphocytes. Lymphocytes are small round cells found in peripheral blood, lymph, lymphoid organs and in many other tissues. In peripheral blood, they constitute 20 to 45 percent of the leukocyte population. While in lymph and lymphoid organs, they form the predominant cell type. The lymphocyte is the basic cell responsible for both humoral and cell mediated immunity. The two primary types of lymphocytes are B lymphocytes or B cells and T lymphocytes or T cells. Both originate from stem cells in the bone marrow. B cells also mature in the bone marrow whereas T cells have to migrate to the thymus which is where they mature. A third type of lymphocytes known as the natural killer cells or NK cells. NK cells also originate from stem cells in the bone marrow. NK cells respond quickly to several foreign substances and are specialized in killing cancer cells and virus infected cells. Lymphopoiesis Lymphopoiesis is the process in which Lymphocytes develop from progenitor cells. Lymphopoiesis takes place in the bone marrow 
central lymphoid organs and the peripheral lymphoid tissues. Recirculation of lymphocytes. There is a constant traffic of lymphocytes through the blood, lymph, lymphatic organs and tissues. This recirculation ensures that following introduction of antigen into any part of the body, lymphocytes of appropriate specificity would reach the site during their ceaseless wandering and mount an immune response. A lymphocyte completes one cycle of recirculation in about one to two days. Recirculating lymphocytes can be recruited by the lymphoid tissues whenever necessary. Recirculating lymphocytes are mainly T cells. Antigen recognition mechanisms. Lymphocytes have antigen recognition mechanisms on their surface enabling each cell to recognize only one antigen. The reaction of an immunocompetent cell to its specific antigen may be induction of either tolerance or of immune response. The nature of immune response depends on whether the lymphocyte is a B or T cell. T lymphocytes T lymphocytes are the mediators of cellular immunity. T lymphocytes refer to thymus derived lymphocytes because their precursors, which arise in the bone marrow, migrate to and mature in the thymus. Stimulated T cells produce certain activation products called lymphokines and induce cell mediated immunity b lymphocytes b lymphocytes refer to bursa derived lymphocytes or bone marrow derived lymphocytes stimulated b cells divide and transform into plasma cells which synthesize antibodies some of the progeny of antigen stimulated b and t lymphocytes differentiate into long-lived memory cells whose function is to mediate rapid and enhanced responses to subsequent exposure of the same antigen. Before seeing what is immune response, we'll see what is antigen. Antigen. An antigen is any substance that is capable of stimulating an immune response, specifically activating lymphocytes. In general, Two main divisions of antigens are recognized. Foreign antigen or heteroantigen and self-antigen or autoantigen. Foreign antigens originates from outside the body. Autoantigens originate within the body. Normally, the body is able to distinguish self from non-self. But in persons with autoimmune disorders, Normal bodily substances provoke an immune response leading to the generation of autoantibodies. Immunogen An antigen that induces an immune response is called an immunogen. Specificity or their ability to react specifically with immune antibodies or cells and immunogenicity or the capacity to stimulate an immune response are the two important properties of an antigen. Immune response. An immune response is defined as the reaction of the body in response to the presence of a foreign substance, that is antigen. The immune response includes reactions against any antigen, living or non-living. Immune response may lead to consequences that are beneficial, indifferent, injurious to the host or to the state of specific non-reactivity called tolerance. Types of immune response. The immune response can be of two types. Humoral or antibody mediated type and cellular or cell mediated type. The two are usually developed together though at times one or the other type may be the predominant or exclusive type. Antibody-mediated immunity 
antibody mediated immunity provides primary defense against most extracellular bacterial pathogens defense against viruses that infect through the respiratory or intestinal tracts prevents recurrence of virus infections participate in the pathogenesis of immediate hypersensitivity and certain autoimmune diseases cell mediated immunity cell mediated immunity protects against fungi viruses and facultative intracellular bacterial pathogens participate in the rejection of homografts and graft versus host reaction provide immunological surveillance and immunity against cancer mediates the pathogenesis of delayed hypersensitivity and certain autoimmune diseases scope of immunology immunology has applications in numerous disciplines of medicine particularly in the field of virology organ transplantation dermatology oncology parasitology bacteriology and psychiatry the person who specializes in the field of immunology is known as immunologist immunologists have developed many new techniques that revolutionized immunoassays and detection systems that employ antibodies immunologists are usually employed by government organizations health care groups universities national health services corporates pharmaceutical companies and biotechnological firms scientific research one of the most desired aspects of immunology is research immunologists in the field of research work in laboratories to study and test interactions of cells chemicals and genes in the body to better understand what is necessary for an immune system to function properly in depth theoretical knowledge and practical experience in the field or the foremost factors to work successfully as an immunologist the specialization available in this field include cancer immunology diagnostic immunology microbiology immunology medical microbiology and immunology reproductive immunology clinical immunology evolutionary immunology allergy and immunology immunology and blood transfusion immunology is one of the most important fields in healthcare the need for antibiotics vaccines etc are increasing every day so does the demand for immunologist friends it's time to conclude this video see you soon in my next video thank you friends